So today is the start of a short mini series on zippers. And we're gonna start by rendering zipper teeth. So I've got three methods that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. And they range from easier to less easy. And they're not hard, uh, the, the less easy ones. It's not hard, but it is a little bit more involved. So make sure you take a moment to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get started method one is uber simple it's a method i used when i first began to sketch before i knew more sophisticated techniques or how to use brushes but it's still totally valid and will give you believable zipper teeth if you're in a pinch draw a line and click the dashed line box in the stroke panel adjust the dashes and gaps so the line and dashes look relatively thick then copy the line and paste in front. Move the line over and slightly offset it so that the dashes of one line align with the gaps of the other. Add a zipper stop and puller and you have what I like to call the quick and dirty zipper teeth. Now since method one was so quick, we're also gonna talk about method two today. Method two incorporates the blend tool. Now I like using this one if I need to use a gradient. And since you currently can't use gradients with brushes, this is a great way to get that metallic and shiny look of metal teeth. Use the rectangle tool to create a horizontal square. Duplicate and offset a second rectangle, and then group them. Duplicate the rectangles and position the first group at the top of your zipper and the second group at the bottom. Using the blend tool, click the corner of the top object and then click the same corner of the bottom object. This automatically fills the space between the two sets of objects with more zipper teeth. If you need to make adjustments, double click the blend tool and update the spacing. I usually use specified steps, which is the number of objects between the top and bottom teeth, but you can use any spacing method that makes your sketch look best. So I know what my preferred method is, but what's yours? Leave a comment below on which method you would use, or if you're like, I wouldn't use any of these methods, you can leave that too, I'll take it. Make sure you tune in next week for method number three, and until then, have a fantastic week. And I'll see you on 7th Avenue.